neuroanatomical track tracing. Tracer solution is injected into specific brain regions by pressure injection in vivo, usually in rodents, using an accurate neurosyringe in stereotactic surgery. When injected into a given brain region, the tracer enables the visualisation of either input or output connections throughout the brain from the injection site. When a tracer is injected, it is taken into the surrounding neurons. In the case of the retrograde tracer fluorogold, it crosses the cell membrane at the axon terminal by endocytosis, where it becomes trapped in lysosomes by a pH gradient. This is known as acid trapping. The lysosomes containing the tracer then travel in a retrograde direction by means of axonal transport from axial terminal to cell body. Anterograde tracers are taken in at the cell body and travel to the axon terminals where they are deposited. Anterograde and retrograde transport are mediated by mechanochemical enzymes, which move cargoes in transport vesicles or lysosomes in either direction along the microtubules which form the skeleton of the axon. Kinesin carries cargo in the anterograde direction. Dynoin carries cargo in the retrograde direction. It takes approximately 7 to 8 days for commonly used tracers such as fluorogold, biotinylated dextran amines and fluororuby to travel along the axons to the target regions. The animal is euthanized by pentobarbital overdose and the brain is removed by transcardial perfusion fixation using phosphate buffered saline and powerful maldehyde. The pH of these solutions is important in the resultant emission wavelength of the tracer. Once the brain is removed, it is stored in powerful maldehyde and then cryoprotected in sucrose. The brain can then be sectioned using a cryostat. Once sectioned, a mountain medium is applied before coat slipping the slides. The medium will depend on the tracer used and the background staining desired. The finished slides are viewed in a fluorescent or confocal microscope. Fluorescently tagged tracers can be easily visualised with fluorescence microscopy without any additional processing. This section contains anterograde fluororuby labelling in red and dappy stained nuclei in blue. Thank you for watching.